<laughs> Ray just fucking mic dropped. What's happening, film friends? David the Film Junkie here. All right. Plot thickens again. That's right. Man, telling you what, like I said, like I've been saying, I think I said it on the Four Nerds stream last night, said it on Film Junk. I mean, Ray knows what he's doing. Everything is perfectly, it's like, okay, when is it time to, I mean, obviously there's going to be anything when you plan something or whatever the heck, when you're going to take this time, when you're going to do what he's doing, which is, you know, it's big because you're taking on a whole movie studio, a big one, a major one. So, you know, Obviously, there's going to be mistakes, and there's probably going to be things that don't work out the way they do, but it just seems like him and his team really have things planned out. And it's just like when 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 these stupid, ridiculous articles come out after he has like said stuff, and then they just like, oh, yeah, uh, turns out, yeah, Jeff Jones still working it. Oh, yeah, Warner, you know, it's just all the stuff that comes out, and it's like, you know, it's coming out. They're just going to – obviously, Warner Brothers just gets on the phone, calls the rap, calls Variety, whatever the hell – same assholes that just going to write the stuff. But man, it, the whole thing that he wasn't, <clears throat> the whole thing about uh, about uh, the bullshit that said Ray wasn't cooperative or anything when it came to the investigation, well, that was, uh, of course, a bold-faced lie because, uh, well, Ray just kind of dropped a recording right here, as you can see. It says, here's a clip from the final conversation with Warner Media's independent in investigator on December 11th, 2020. Hopefully it lends itself to the truth of the investigation and to the credibility of my claims against Walter Hermata's dangerous behavior. So let's go ahead and give it a listen. I know that this is... So, a very time consuming process, and uh, I know this has not been an easy one by any means. Um, and if ever there were any points in time where I seemed defensive, or, or uh, <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of times where that was happening. You've been a gentleman, and I would say you've been a man of your word, and that is what we have reported to the company, which is that you told us you would give us things, you gave us things. You told us you would meet with us on a particular day at a particular time. You never tried to reschedule it. You met us. You even gave us information after that. You've been a man of your word. You mm -hmm. uh, are someone that we have found extremely credible. There it is. And the fact that you risk so much is part of what exactly. lends itself to your credibility. <laughs> uh, exactly. And, but just also, um, you know, the facts speak for themselves. Damn, facts speak for themselves. But the the fact of the matter is, you know, that is one thing. I mean, a lot of people that are like, don't give a shit and, you know, that are against Ray, they just go like, yeah, yeah, just trying to like, just trying to make his, they, they think he was trying to like boost his career as well as the same time destroying it. I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't make sense when people uh, start talking like that. Like, um, wait, you think that he was trying to boost his career by making these complaints, but then it's backfiring and he's destroying it. Okay, so that's what the game, like he just is shooting for, you know, he's shooting at the half court line, you know, and just hoping it goes in. No, he's not. I mean, the fact of the matter is, the fact that he's done that, and you heard what she said, that's the, investi the I guess, head of the investigation right there, commending the absolute shit out of him and giving him the credibility. Because like I said, the fact that he's risked a lot, risked his career, uh, to ever be hired again, even though thankfully that, you know, he's going to be part of that show on ABC. So that's good. But uh, man, I just, the fact that they were like, oh yeah, go ahead, drop that. <laughs> because they had to get approval from her. I mean, obviously there was no name. She's not going to probably post her name or anything like that. But the fact that they were like, oh yeah, you could post at least that clip right there because you know, he just didn't do that. He didn't just go rogue and just do that. Hopefully he didn't. <laughs> I don't think that's the case. He's like I said, whenever he posts stuff, it's I he's everything's always being double checked and probably triple checked with his with his um well, with everybody on his side with his legal team and everything. So, I mean, the fact that it was OK to just drop that clip right there just to add credibility to his claims and everything like that. I mean, well, it basically I mean, obviously, that's not the naysayers are still going to like, you know, do their naysaying. But the fact of the matter is, is like when they were talking about like how he wasn't cooperative and this, that and this. Uh, the fact that you're hearing her just lift him up and just say all those compliments to him and blah, blah, blah. And of course, people will probably say it's fake or it's edited or something like that. I mean, there's there's always going to be the detractors. Everybody's going to be like, ah, that's fake. That's doing this, that's doing that. But I mean, geez, man, 
that is crazy. Now what's going to happen? Here we are on Friday. <laughs> you know, I just, it was funny. I just watched WandaVision. I'm going to post my little mini review of the first two episodes right after this. But then, um, um, what the hell? Okay, I just saw that HBO Max is releasing um, Godzilla vs. Kong on March 26th. I wonder if that, that that's interesting. Uh, everybody was thinking that was going to be for Zack Snyder Justice League. Crazy. All right. So many things happening right now. What is going on? But, um, no, but I just wonder what's next. Okay, it's Friday. Didn't wasn't like a few Fridays ago where he dropped something, and then all of a sudden, like two hours, little over two hours later, there was like an article from Variety or the Wrap or something like that. Now I wonder what's going to happen tonight. It's going to be interesting. Well, let's just say, tune into the vodka stream. We have a lot to talk about. It's going to be, uh, yeah, a lot of uh, especially with new release dates and everything like that. It's going to be weird, man, crazy. But um, yeah, I'm just wondering who's writing up the article now. Are they going to wait till Monday? Are they going to post tonight? What is happening? And then it's just like, all right, that's a little bit of evidence of like, that. okay, the lie that he was um, not cooperative. And he even said, like, if I got a little defensive, I'm sorry. And then she was like, no, 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 you've been absolutely fantastic. And it's like, yeah, you can understand why he was a little defensive. Obviously, you can under understand that with everything that happened and, and the fact that things weren't happening when he was uh, trying to make them happen. So, man, this is just, it just keeps getting crazier and crazier. I did not think he was going to drop it. When I saw there was a clip, I'm like, what is this? It's just like, is it a clip of him talking to Walter Hamada? And I went, no, he would, that would be insane. He would like, yeah, that could, that could, that's against the law right there. Yeah. Whoever you're talking to, you have to have, um, you have to give him permission to release that publicly or he'd get in serious trouble. But then again, I don't know. I just, I was like, oh my God, does he have like Walter Hamada on the phone? Oh, that would be insane. And I'm sure he does. That's the thing. He probably does. That phone call that he got from him that he talked about, you know, back a few months ago, he probably does have that recorded somewhere. I'm sure he does. But, you know, he's being smart. You can't release that. Obviously, you'd get in some legal trouble with that for sure. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens now, man. I just love it. I love it. It just <laughs> keep on writing those fucking, keep on spinning the shit. Okay, Scoopy Pants or whoever's going to write it at the rap or variety. Yeah, just keep on spinning it. Keep on spinning it. He's just going to spin it right back. And uh, yeah, sadly, the naysayers will still uh, be naysaying, but I just wonder what other tricks he's going to have. It's going to be interesting to see what happens here. You know, I'm, I, I, everybody wonders the effect it's going to have on Zack Snyder's Justice League. But, um, you know, maybe it got bumped up. I don't know. Maybe it did get bumped up. It's so weird. God, it's going to be, yeah, but Godzilla vs. Kong right there. We haven't even seen like a trailer, but the fact that it's going to be released on there, we're going to see, we're going to see a big, ooh, man, like I said, February, March, going to be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. So they're going to start campaigning, of course, for uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. So that means we're going to get both of those. And Zack Snyder, ooh, man, March is going to be uh, intense. It's going to be crazy. So, all right. Well, there you go, guys. Um, yeah. Go Ray. I stand with Ray Fisher. I mean, man, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's hard to like, it's hard not to. I mean, first of all, we all love the guy. You know, we want to see great things. We want to see justice prevail and, uh, and everything. And, uh, yeah, he's just keeping his head, keeping calm. And he's got, he's got the ammunition. That's for damn sure. He's got the defense. But anyways, guys, hit that like thumbs up button. If you'd be so kind, subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit that notification bell. Uh, make sure you follow me on the sock meds that are down below. You got Twitter, Instagram, and then Facebook page. You want to go ahead and like that too. That's fine. And then merchandise, shirts, and everything. And then Patreon, if you want to help out the pirate ship, go ahead and uh, send a pledge. Pledge that'd be sweet if you did, or become a member. Hit that join button. All right, guys. Love you. Talk to you later.